Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Real Values. On this week's episode, I discuss Saturday night and Sunday morning. One could imagine what it was like to be a critic or viewer when this film was released around the same time as other era-defining landmarks. The shift from classicism to radicalism in art was significant for the British and French in 1959 and the early 60s. However, their work still revitalizes our senses when most contemporary movies resort to safe storytelling methods to satisfy an audience. In other words, Carol Reese's authentically realized Saturday night and Sunday morning was a satisfying experience because it was observantly designed through the experiences of its complicated lead character, Arthur Seaton. With his James Dean-influenced veneer, Arthur intends to live by working during the week at a factory and spending time recklessly on the weekends to indulge his interest in alcoholism and affairs. In a more traditional project, Arthur would be the subject of moral disdain for his flaws. However, Reese and screenwriter Alan Silito humanized the character by distinguishing his positive and negative qualities. Albert Finney captures the tartly comedic side of Arthur's rebelliousness, while subtly portraying Arthur's poor choices as they evolve into more conflicts. Beneath the theatrical nature of Arthur's bravado, Arthur is a young man who still needs to mature and accept responsibility. Once the movie concludes, the audience hopes Arthur will learn from his misbehavior. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.